Power windows are one of those creature comforts that most drivers take for granted until they stop working. A power window might quit working for a number of possible reasons. The fault could be electrical, such as a bad power window switch, a blown fuse, a bad relay, or a loose or damaged wire. Other times, the fault is a bad window motor or a broken part in the window regulator mechanism that actually raises and lowers the glass. The window lift components inside the door usually include a small electric motor and a window regulator assembly. Usually, the motor and regulator can be replaced separately, though both require removing the inner door panel to replace the parts. Replacement typically takes an hour or so, but might require an extra set of hands to hold the glass while parts are aligned and maneuvered into place. The electric motors that drive power windows are compact and powerful, and are similar to the motors used on power seats. OEM motors can cost from $100 up to $300 or more, depending on the application. As you might imagine, imports and luxury vehicles typically are more expensive. On some vehicles, such as late model Mini Coopers, the window motor brushes can develop dead spots after four or five years of service due to lowering and raising the windows every time the door is opened. It makes for a tight seal, but all the extra motion also shorts the life of the window motor. Ford is using a similar setup in late model Mustangs. The regulator assembly that raises the window is mechanical, and it's subject to wear over time whether it's power driven with a motor or a manual with a crank. Window tinting on some vehicles can possibly cause extra stress on the motor and regulator. Some regulators use a steel cable and worm drive gears to lift the window, while others use a notched plastic belt or plastic strip with teeth for the same purpose. Steel cables seldom fail, but plastic belts and strips often become brittle with age and exposure to heat, and they may crack and fail, especially during cold weather, as you might imagine. On some applications, the plastic belt or strip can be replaced separately without having to replace the whole regulator mechanism. The plastic bushings and slides in the window lift mechanism also might experience some wear, causing misalignment or sticking when the window goes up and down. This can result in a poor glass seal with wind noise and or water leaks. Usually, the regulator assembly is bolted inside the door frame and attaches to the bottom of the glass. Regulators can be relatively simple and compact or large and complex. OEM replacement regulators, if available, can cost anywhere from $150 up to $600 or more, depending on the vehicle. For applications that are more than 10 years old, OEM parts might not even be available. Fortunately, there are aftermarket repair parts available for many applications. When replacing window lift components, your customers also might need new weather stripping for the door or weather stripping adhesive or sealer to repair loose or leaky seals. I'm Josh Cable, thanks for watching.